Hey guys, Michael here, and welcome to the first installation of Michael's mission to Minecraft Mastery. Alright, now before we get started, I would like to give uh, a little bit of background information of what I plan for this series to be, um, what it might turn into, and uh, all that jazz. Uh, mainly, this series is going to be about my goal to starting from scratch to having pretty much unlimited resources. Now the other mod that I will be using is called Equivalent Exchange. It's uh, another pretty popular mod, um, mainly because uh, X Blue Exophis and uh, the Ogs cast mainly, that's who I'm talking about, did a mod review of this mod and um, so it's pretty popular. I think it was before that, but it's more popular now. And uh, basically what this mod does is it adds a bunch of new items to the game. Uh, mainly game ending items. Uh, like a uh, picks, like dark matter picks, uh, axes, shovels, hoes, uh, swords, and armor, which pretty much never degrade. They have special abilities, but they take a whole crud ton of diamonds. Like, it's like... 200 diamonds to make a pick or something crazy like that. It's just insane. Now through the use of these mods, I mainly build craft and, and partially through ex equivalent exchange, I hope to uh, make um, automatic farms of um, mainly cobblestone, which then can be turned through equivalent exchange, be turned into Redstone, which can be turned into gold, iron, which can be turned into gold, which can be turned into diamond. So you can technically, through the use of these two mods, make a unlimited diamond farm, which uh, is put one of my goals. Uh, I hope to make uh, almost a farm for every type of item in the game. Uh, I can't remember who did it, but somebody uh, made an has um, a design out there for an automatic pumpkin farm a and a watermelon farm which is really cool because it was thought to be impossible to make an automatic farm because once they grow the pumpkins and watermelon grow the um, the tilled soil becomes to dirt making it, it which uh, was thought to be made impossible to till but uh, he discovered a method to plan on using and then you know your basic wheat and cactus and uh, mob grinders and um, fra friendly mob grinders but through but through the use of uh, equivalent exchange and build craft there are a lot of different automatic farms I can use because of the different recipes that equivalent exchange allows you to do so, uh, I mean, you can. There are these uh, items called dark matter objects. Um, well, no, sorry, I'm thinking the wrong thing. Philosopher's stones, which can be used. Uh, so if you put like four dirt in crafting box uh, with a philosopher's stone, you get uh, like cobblestone or something. And there's just a whole ton of recipes. If you want to go see those recipes, you can go head over to the forum for this mod most likely have a link down in the description along as well with buildcraft and uh, installation videos of how to get those mods or if if it's requested enough I'll just put a download for my dot minecraft folder so you can with the contents inside so you don't have to install it you can just uh, remove your worlds from your saves put them on your desktop and then just put the downloaded uh, dot minecraft folder into your old minecraft folder replace everything and just insert your new world so you will have these two mods installed I would also like to point out before I begin that um, along with uh, the mod equivalent exchange and buildcraft I have uh, too many items installed I do not have it installed right now for the purpose of making uh, or giving myself any items I'm gonna do this all legit I'm gonna build all my things legit I'm gonna build my mob grinders and all that stuff legitimately I'm gonna build all my farms legit 
and I'll just go through scenes. And uh, this is what I was talking about, the dark matter swords and axes and all that and armor. There's some other stuff too I'll, sh I'll probably show you later on in the series, but that's not important right now. Alright, now that we've all got all that stuff settled out, I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you guys what I've done so far. Uh, as you can see, I have a really little tiny base right here. Uh, yeah, these two chests are not openable right now. I'll have to fix that in a minute. But if we go down these little steps here, I have another portal. And we'll just go ahead and step in this for a second. I am playing on peaceful right now for the purpose of this video. Uh, I occasionally do play on peaceful, uh, mainly when I'm cave exploring. I know some haters might be like, oh, that's some fun, it kind of takes away from learning, and yada, yada, yada. I don't really care. The purpose of this um, uh, little mission of mine is to uh, make an end game kind of scenario where I don't have to worry about diamonds or. Uh, anything cobblestone uh skill arrows nothing um so it doesn't really matter too much if i plan peaceful or not meeting stages because it's all in all it's just going to slow me down um, but uh i haven't done really much in the nether uh all i've done is i've kind of gone around and collected a bunch of light stone i don't have any in my inventory right now but uh, that's pretty much all I've done in the nether. Uh, I haven't really built a base or anything yet because I've done a lot of my exploring and such so far. I'm peaceful. Now as we head back to my base, I'll show you what I've got inside of my chest right now. And we'll wait for this to load. It's kind of slow since I'm recording. And playing on my laptop, but okay. So, as you got a little sneak peek, peek just there and before and early in the vid, uh, it's my inventory. I have 22 diamond. I have one philosopher's stone. Uh, that's all my iron and all my gold. I have a stack of iron ore there. Um, iron pickaxes, a diamond pick, and then. There's a bunch of coal, some lapis, some redstone, some obsidian for left over from my portal, books, insects, a little bit of leather, some pork chops, lots of reeds, um, glass, but saplings, yeah, 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 basic stuff. Not much in here. But just a bunch of glowstone and some cobblestone and buckets and yada yada yada. Uh, just a lot of coal in there and a lot of coal in there. Just mainly for smelting my iron, and it's night time, so I figure we'll go ahead and go to sleep. I just thought I'd skip ahead a little bit, and I've gone ahead, and I am inside this cavern, I guess you'd call it, um, that I found and lit up. Uh, there are some branches of this, well, there are quite a bit of branches of this little uh, cavern that I've gone ahead and explored and dug all the resources out of but it's still a large section of this uh, entire cave system has yet to be explored I don't know if I'm want to do that in video yet or if I just want to uh, do that off camera I don't know uh, let me know what you guys want me to do um, if I get good feedback I'll probably do it on video if not I'll just do it by myself um, there's just a lot of dirt, mushroom, gunpowder, bread, flint, nothing in there, it's just a workbench, so yeah. And alright, now after a quick little nap and uh, getting lost in my cave system, which I really need to make a quicker way out than just walking through random caves, I'll probably do that after I make this video, so I won't bore you guys with that, but um, uh, you guys may notice uh, I think I explained to you I have 22 diamonds and I'll explain to you how I got them because I only got about nine that I mined. I got one and then I found a nice pocket of eight. But in a second I'll explain to you how I got that. Alright, now that I've gathered uh, several seeds, I will go ahead and explain to you how to make a philosopher's stone. Um, 
gotta grab some other resources really quick there are three main ingredients uh, well there are two ways to create a philosopher's stone um, probably one of the more common ways right now is to take you take four redstone and you put them either in the four corners or here 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 and here in the bottom left top and right and uh, so basically the glowstone and redstone can be interchanged um, but there has to be a slime ball in the middle now you might be wondering well you don't have any slime balls so how can you make a philosopher's stone and uh, I've not come across any slimes yet mainly because I've played them peaceful yada 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 all notes to you guys by now is what you do is you can create slime balls in other ways using equivalent exchange what you can do is you take a seed take a sugar cane and take a sapling and you will get a slime alright and I don't know how long it's been but because I've done this in many many parts but I'm gonna go ahead and call this the end of the video I've, d I've shown you guys all I wanted to show you for now um, still got chunks loading because I changed my render distance that's why it's so sort of laggy but you know I've pretty much shown you and told you guys what I've done what I want to do with this uh, uh, channel with this series you know I hope you guys support me let me know in the comments with the ratings whatever I don't really care just let me know um, but pretty much yeah, yeah I guess in the next video I make which might be either later today or possibly sometime this weekend when I'm up in Trevor City for some hockey games I don't know um, but uh, basically the next episodes I think I'm gonna start uh, making a quarry I don't know I'll probably show you guys how to make one of those and how to get it going and what it does blah 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 but uh, I guess I'm out for now see you guys peace